What's up? This is Yuki the Snowman, aka the greatest otaku of all time, Snow. And let's talk about Giga's how anime has changed. Or anime is, has changed. Where the fuck the title, where the fuck the name of the video is. So, to give, to give a quick rundown, Giga's will talk about how the anime fan culture has changed from, you know, nerds who got to anime through Pokemon, TV and like TV anime in the States and in Western countries to how the culture is almost like it's almost like a fucking juggernaut. It cannot get stopped. One thing he brought up was, was like you know how back then if you like back then if you watch Pokemon after the fate after the uh fad had died you was so weird and the only way you can talk to other anime fans is through internet shit like forums dvb posts whatever now you can, you can walk down the street and ask a nigga what anime is and until you know anime is this is that that and I like to some shit. That shit is true. Like 10, 15 years ago, me walking down the street with this shirt on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get flamed. I'm gonna get roasted. I'm probably gonna fight a nigga because I'm, 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 I'm an ego. But now it's like, people don't really care anymore because that's how mainstream anime has gotten. You can, you, can, you, can, you can talk about anime freely. And nobody gonna think it's US rare though, but back then, you use rare for fucking anime. You were considered a fucking loser. You got bullied. But, next point. You can watch anime through like a phone, or you in a, or a laptop, computer, any type of streaming, any type of streaming device. Twenty years ago, it was fucking hard to find anime. If you was if you was poor like me, well, I mean, my family were poor, but though, like we had enough money, but not enough money for, like for me to like go fucking go to anime, me go to a video store and buy an anime taste that cost a hundred dollars. You had, I right, I right, check this out. If you live in a, in a fucking bum fuck town, or like five hundred people. You had you had to travel two hours to a major city or town to get your anime fix. Today, not a problem. Go to Crunchyroll.com, Hulu, Netflix, or your legal sites, which I ain't gonna name because I ain't gonna give myself a trouble, and just find a show right there. Now in the two thousands, it was a little easier because of the internet, because of eBay, but you could have got a bootleg. Show you could have got like a bootleg boot like DVD of an anime show and not the official shit, so it was a risk. But today, funny, funny anime to, to watch, easy as fuck, easy like easy E. Now, so yeah, now, so yeah, now young niggas don't know who easy E is, is, but he's an old school rapper, he was an old school rapper. But I ain't gonna, we can talk, we, we can talk about that shit later, but like, anime today. To find that shit is easy. And shit, finding a community of fans is easy as fuck now. Back then, like 20 years ago, you had to, you had to fucking do a lot of hard work and read a lot of book, and read a lot of magazines to find anime conventions. Or if you're a fucking loose ass nerd who stay in a press basement, <laughs> you buy on you buy on, on a uh, computer on dial up on some uh uh forms, uh B2B forms. Those are those are emergency forms. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you could you could like talk to niggas about hey, there's a con in Chicago called M A F M A ASIN. I mean MA Central ASIN. Hey, there's a convention out in LA called Amin Espo. And 
that and these niggas will talk will talk on his uh fucking bulletin board about these conventions. Today, you can hop on Facebook, Google, type in local anime conventions in my city, and bow, you find yourself an anime con. So that's how one that's that's like one thing how the anime fandom has changed. It's like it's a it's a asset. Asses. Who else? Hmm. Oh, so how anime how anime become mainstream? So Giga was talking about how anime now is it's, it's fucking mainstream. Almost everybody know what the fuck is anime is. You could you could you could walk down the street talk to ask a nigga what's anime and nigga tell you know Dragon Ball Z, One Piece, Naruto. If you did this shit 10 years ago, 15 years ago, one two, one, two things would happen. You ask the nigga what Emma is, and they'll say, oh, is that a Chinese cartoon shit? That Dragon Ball Z? Oh, no, you didn't go the fuck up. That's some lame shit. Or two, they was gonna get a confused look. Yeah, I put my shit in my phone. I put the shit in my mouth. I don't give a fuck. Um, yeah, like, if you told a nigga, like, you like Emma back then, you gotta make fun of him. You got roasted, you got flamed. You were, you was an outcast, you know. You got bullied. Today, for the most part, because it's, it's still happening, but in very small parts in America, if you tell somebody you like anime, they don't care, or they be like, yeah, I like anime too. Yeah, I can have a little discussion. So, yeah, anime has definitely changed, culture-wise. And I know there's a lot of niggas out there, and it's like usually the older, like all the OG nerds or this fucking better nerds who don't get a pussy. They're still mad. Like, man, why am I so mainstream? <laughs> yeah, this fucking crying. Man, I got made fun of for being a, a, a real boo. No, why am I so popular now? Well, I feel things, nigga. You fucking stink. You, you didn't take a shower. You didn't have no social skills. And you was a bitch who got who got the ass whoop and you, you need to defend yourself. That's probably why you got bullied for being an anime nerd. Cause I know some niggas who are anime nerds who got bullied and guess what? They whooped the, the bully ass and they were still on some anime shit. So you was a little, so you was a little bitch who couldn't defend yourself. Stop fucking crying about how anime is now mainstream. Nigga, nigga. Anime is a fucking cultural mainstream shit. I've been saying this for a while, like, anime, anime fans are fucking transitors. So you won't be fucking mad that anime is mainstream. So, so, hold on, hold on. You won't fucking mad at niggas ain't getting make fun of fucking like anime anymore. Oh, that shit's too loud. Fuck that shit. You are fucking mad because anime is mainstream now? So, you're also mad at, you're also mad at the fact that nerds ain't getting bullied for like anime anymore. You're also mad at the fact that people or being respectful for me, anime fans. Get over the past, nigga. <coughs> go find a therapist. Go, go to like therapistfinder.com and go find a therapist to bitch about, to bitch to about how you got made fun of like an anime. Cause this shit about oh, I, why anime is so popular now? It was a cool. I was growing up. That shit's getting played out. Grow the fuck up. Like niggas, are, like nigga. Hold on, my, my hand, my hand, my hand. <laughs> nigga. People are making money to talk about anime off the phone. <laughs> niggas are getting to the bag. Guess what? They talk about anime. Gig it. <coughs> Mother basement. Glass reflection. Super iPad scroll. They are making bank talking about anime now. When niggas was saying the hey, to do the anime shit, talk about the anime shit, no, that's lame. You don't get a push off the shit. <coughs> <coughs> but look, but look, but look now. Niggas can talk about anime and make money. So you bitching about this shit 
it's it's pointless. Get over the past. But you know, anime, it was a special thing. It was it was part of my personality. You know. Okay, so yeah. Anime is no, no it's, it's become, yeah, anime is no longer a special niche. And if you are mad because anime ain't special and you ain't unique anymore, you are fucking lame. You are fucking lame, bro. I'm sorry. You should have had more. You should have had another interest outside of anime. So <coughs> deal with the fact that anime is mainstream and that anime is not special anymore. With that said, if you if you if you if you are passionate about anime, hop on this anime shit right the fuck now and get to the bag. Well, this is the this is the golden era of the anime fan. Don't debate me on this. This is this is the fucking golden era. Everybody likes anime now. You can watch anime. People or sit the anime as a serious mainstream, me as a serious art form. This this is the shit that niggas been fighting for for years, decades. For anime to be accepted in the mainstream. I mean, some niggas been fighting for this, but some other niggas like, man, fuck that shit. Oh well. More money for me and niggas who are trying to grind to get to the money and talk about anime. With that say, anime is an art form that should be appreciated. Appreciated. It's only getting bigger. It's gonna. It's gonna rival. It's gonna rival movies, games, and other art forms. You know what I mean? So I'm happy for this shit. This will be a great ride for years to come. This is fucking history, you know what I mean? So, this will be part of history. But that's it, I'm out.